What's going on guys? In this video I want to show you how to send an email from your ESP8266 using the Node MCU firmware. This means that you don't need a microcontroller to uh, attach to the ESP to send email so you don't need an Arduino or any other microcontroller for this tutorial that I'm going to show you. But uh, if you are looking to use the Arduino for sending emails, I do have a tutorial with the ESP and the Arduino in my channel, so check that out if that's what you need. So let me go ahead and show you how the code works, and then I will tell you how to modify it to use it for your own project with your own email. So what I have here, it's a Gmail account. This will be the account where I will receive my emails. I'm actually using a Time Warner cable account to send the emails and the reason why I'm using Time Warner is because for the script that I'm going to give you only works with uh, email servers that do not require uh, SSL encryption. So let me go ahead and run the script. So I already have it uploaded to my ESP. I'm just going to go ahead and run it and if you're wondering I'm using ESP Explorer for uh, sending and receiving files to the ESP. So I'm going to run the file and let me go ahead and reset it because it's out of memory apparently. So now that I reset it, I'm going to run the file and I'm going to open my email account so that you see next to it what's what's happening. So this is data that is coming from the uh, email server to the ESP and then it gets uh, printed in this serial monitor window. So right now, this is here, it's uh, requesting my ESP's username, password. As you can see here, it says that I'm authorized, so the login was successful. I sent the from address and the to email address and now it's sending the data and the data should end with slash r slash n dot slash r slash n. So when you get this message, that means that it sent the email and now I'm closing the connection. So notice here that I got my email, I'm going to go ahead and open it. So this is the subject line and this is a message that I sent. So this is my script. I will be uploading it to GitHub so that you can have access to it and use it however you want. This is the function that I made. So you put the subject here and your text or your email body in uh, this uh, the second parameter. So what you're gonna have to change is your email. So this is your email that uh, from when you are sending the email. That's the password for that email. This is your mail's server's SMTP address or your outgoing address. This is the port, the way you find uh, your email server's host name and port is by simply googling for those settings. So for Time Warner, I just Google Time Warner SMTP settings and I got my outgoing mail server. So this string is what I should put for my SMTP server string and of course my port. This is the email that you want to send the uh, email to. Your network's name and your network's password. And you don't have to worry about changing anything else. And do not add a subject or a body that these are just global functions that I'm using those variables actually get assigned the parameters that you pass in the function. So like I said, only worry about these settings and whatever subject and body you need for the email. And if you want to learn more about the uh, protocol for sending email, I have some links in the example. So go ahead and check those out. But uh, basically I'm sending the commands required in the order that they're required. So once I am, uh, once I'm connected to my server or once I have, I have created a TCP connection, I execute this command. 
or this function which is called connected and then I'm going to execute the function do next every five seconds you can make the uh, five seconds time smaller if that works for you and then I start sending the commands in the order uh, so this is just like a hello to the uh, email server this is where I send the login command and then the server is going to ask for my username so this is where I send my username which is my email it has to be base64 encoded I also added a base64 module so I will post the link to that one as well uh, so once I'm logged in I mean once it's, it has asked me for my username and I send it it will ask for my password so then I send my password also base64 encoded and if I get this message that means that the email and password were accepted and then I set up the from address the to address this is where I actually start sending the uh, body and header of the email once again I have to send the from and to header also the subject and then the body and then as you can see here the email server says that I have to finish with this string so that's what I do here so that's actually this that's what I do in this line in this line I simply replace this string in case it is in the body in case so if you were let's say by accident put this string in the middle of your body then I have taken the care of replacing that string with a, simply getting rid of it because that string shouldn't be in the body that's like the last thing that you should send and then I quit my connection from the server and that's when I get the closing connection if the email is successfully sent you will get an OK message and lastly I close my SMTP socket so that's it for this video thank you for watching like I said I will be posting the link to my github page in the description of the video so you can grab the code don't forget to like this video and subscribe thank you